I had barely finished my full size 3D printed commando droid before I was off making the next one. And don't get me wrong, I love my commando droid, but this one is gonna take everything I learned from the first print and make it that much better. And this time, no PLA. This will be all in PETG. We are also being super organized with this droid, down to how many grams of material we're using, the print time for each pieces, and being able to lay out all the pieces in one place. Roughly 284 hours later and 23 pounds of filament later, we have our fully printed commando droid. And on top of him being the first droid we've printed in PETG, he's also gonna be the first project that we've used 3D Gloop to connect pieces with. I've heard a lot of people talk about the Gloop products in the past. So for this project, I decided to buy some and test it out for myself. The creators of Pet Gloop say it's designed to provide the strongest bond between two 3D printed parts ever. We did learn the value of laying it on thick, and sanding the surfaces before we apply. Unlike using something like CA glue, it's certainly not instantaneous in the fusing. And I think the biggest downside for us was the long cure time, but no complaints at all on how strong the bond was. Normally the droids are my thing, but another first for this project is this is the first time Alex and I have worked on a droid together, which makes it all the more special. Roger, Roger. This will be also the fastest we've ever completed a droid, and his forever home won't be with us. Turns out there is someone out there who will love one of my droids as much as I do.